Hey folks and welcome to the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. I'm your host Andrew, I'm a part-time eBay and Depop reseller and a mental health advocate. And in today's video, I'm going to do my top 10 sales from September on eBay. Um, wasn't a good month for sales, I must admit. Having not listed for several months, you could definitely see the impact in terms of not just the amount of items we were selling, but the value of them as well. So if you're expecting a stream full of bolos, I'm afraid it's not going to happen. But what I can do is show you 10 items that I've sold, burn put items that you can find and source pretty cheaply from anywhere. Um, I say like the bread and butter items, the items you can find anyway, and hopefully find cheap, and then sell for a profit. So let's see what I did. And the first item is not quite on screen. There we go. We have the authentic Tudor and Stuart Doll's House by Brian Long. Uh, now this says thirty four ninety five on it. It actually sold on an offer to watch this that I sent out for nineteen pound ninety nine. I paid a pound for this at the charity shop. It had been listed for quite a while, so one pound to nineteen ninety nine free shipping. Happy to take good return on that item from a pound. And next we have this Kenwood RC three hundred rice cooker with some fantastically professional pictures. Uh, not um i actually bought this on ebay as collection only for 99p um and it sold on an offer again for 21 pounds including shipping so again for a pound not too bad uh, i think it weighed over two kilos so it cost a bit more to to ship than the uh, than the book did but i still made a decent 10 pound plus profit on it so happy with that and next this is a britain's Ertel john deere tractor um, this cost me four pounds at a car boot and was listed for years without um, selling literally years um, again notice I had a watcher on it so I sent out a really cheap offer 22 quid for them for them and they accepted and paid so this sold for so it was 22.99 free shipping from four pound again it's um, I have to think this when I packed it weighs under two kilos as well so it just got packed for two ninety nine with Yodo, um, Black Plus. So I made a bit of profit from it. I did okay, but it stayed listed for far, far too long. Uh, next, you may remember this item from my Newport charity shop haul. Uh, I picked this up in an Oxfam for five pounds, and it sold for twenty four ninety five free shipping within 24 hours of being listed so really happy with that really quick sale really turn around quick turnaround and a good profit on it and next this is an item that was recommended to our brand that was recommended to me by my accountant's future wife his fiance uh, Chrissy said go and buy some Raiden from Tiki Max so I bought this soap for $7.99 and sold for $24.95 free shipping so not a bad return for some uh, retail arbitrage there do have to be careful always shipping liquids in the post. Um, use Royal Mail if you can because uh, other couriers don't really cover it. Um, and do destroy it, in fact. Uh, next, this really blurry picture on this. Don't know why the picture is so blurry on it. It's awful, awful pictures. But it's a Blu-ray set from Renu Built America. Um, it cost me £3.50 in a charity shop in Chester. And it's all for £24.95 free shipping, full price. So happy enough with that uh, next this is an uh, a sort of wool uh, jacket um, an Italian style one it's an Italian brand uh, vintage item come from come in a bunch of um, uh, vintage wholesale order again a long time ago a couple of years ago probably uh, I had this and it's been listed for a very long time it sold twice for 25 pounds and then the buyers haven't paid uh, and it sold again for an offer of £25 and the buyer did pay. Uh, so it's being shipped and it's currently on its way to the buyer. I don't think it's actually reached them yet if it's delivery on Monday. Um, but yeah, as part of that bundle, it probably owed me about four quid. Um, so I made a decent profit on it, but I'm not really happy with how long it's been uh, listed for. Um, and then next is this G Star uh, jacket. Um, again, this was um, from a wholesale order of about three or four quid. Um, actually sold an offer uh, for $27.99 uh, so that was an offer to watches because again I had this listed for not as long as the, the other coat but this had been listed for uh, nearly 18 months 
Um, so keen just to see it gone. Um, so yeah, $27.99 free shipping. Uh, coming to the final two, uh, we have got these board games, um, sort of like a Kickstarter project thing. I don't know, I don't know much about gaming. Um, these cost £5 each, they're part of the same series, so I bundled them together, put them on for 60 quid. Um, one of them was actually still part sealed, um, still looked like it's been played, the other one was, was played. Uh, yeah, it cost £5 each, so £10 in all. Um, I could have sold them individually for about 20 to 25 quid, but I thought I'd just bundle them together, put them on uh, for 16, see what happens. And I had an offer through, again, within a few hours of listing for £45, free shipping. So for the tenor, I was happy enough to take that, get the items gone out the door, get the money in quick. So yeah, really happy with that. And then the final item is this uh, brand new inbox Olympus digital voice recorder, uh, DM77 Bowl. Uh, it cost eight pounds in the charity shop. Uh, I listed it high at 69.95. There's some that sold for about 50, 60, and some that gone for 70. So I went top end. Um, within a probably a week or two of being listed, I had an offer of fifty-five pound free shipping. So for eight quid into fifty-five, more than happy to take that. Um, really good return. So yeah, happy with that. And I don't know how to end this recording. Uh, anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you on the next video. And I've managed to actually rec end this recording. Uh, very professional channel this one. Bye for now. See you again. Why are you not in it?